Okay, so now it's time to take the uh, hub off itself. So we've got this cover and this should just prise off. So we'll give it a little bit of <laughs> encouragement. Oh, that's good. Slam on the other side. That's it. Give it a twist. Yeah, it's twisting. That feels good. Oh, no, still not. A little bit more. You can tell, you can see it, but I'm just doing this as I'm going along. Ah, there we go. Nice and greasy inside there. And, uh, yeah, so there we have our bolt and split pin. So we've just got to get the split pin out. Straighten that out. Standard, and there is so will that pull out yes it does there we go beautiful and then we'll just get this I'm done I think I'm gonna get some tissue oh ouch space is at a premium in this garage I don't know whether that's the same for all of you guys or not but literally there is no space to Seeing a cat here, so I'm just going to actually put these things here as well, and then I know where things are for when I need it. So, what do I think this one's going to be? Uh, it's pretty big actually. Three sixteenths. Three sixteenths. Blimey. Okay. Wasn't expecting it to be that loose. I know there is a torque setting for it and I know having read this you're not supposed to do these up tight because otherwise um, you're actually going to um, squash the bearings as such but I wasn't expecting it to be that loose hmm right now then does this oh yep there we go it just comes off <laughs> oh right okay so there we have our uh, seal, washer seal, and the bearing itself. Let's take this off gently. And then on the inside here, we've got um, the rest of the bearings as well. Oh boy. Okay. Right, well that came off. Super duper easy peasy. So I'll clean that. Let's clean this little lot up here, and then uh, next job, of course, is then get those four bolts undone, and then we can get the new disc attached. Fabulous. Now, what I'm going to show you might look a bit strange, and kind of also give you an idea how tight I am for space. But what we've got is. That's uh, what the wheel bolts to. And of course, the inside of the wheel bearing is now not in it. This is what we want to take off, and I've, I've stuffed a load of clean tissue down the uh, rest of the bearing because I don't want to get it dirty. But we've got these four bolts that hold the disc on, and we need to get them off. And. Uh, <clears throat> Well, basically, how on earth do you clamp something that's round? But we do have these four bolts. And so what I'm going to do, it's going to look a bit weird, but it works. I've got an old pallet just here. It gives you an idea. You can see how tight I am for space just at this point. But I'm going to jam the two of those bolts into where the pallet is and then I'll be able to I've got it secure now it doesn't go anywhere and if you remember me telling you that uh, everything on a stag is either a half or a nine sixteenths this is no different this is a nine sixteenths so let's just pop this on here I've already done that one put this one here and what I've got I've got this to extend the pull on here because it's mighty tight so let's just ease it off there we go let's do the next one 
ease this one off. Come on, in you go. Don't want to go on. Doesn't want to go on. That's it. one right now it's gonna be interesting does it just lift off or what happens I didn't think it would just lift off that'd be far too easy wouldn't it right so we're gonna to have to ease it off somehow. I'll come back to you on that. Right, what you happened to the daylight? So apparently the join, so I've been having a look at the new ones, the join is just here. So we can see where the bolts went through. So that just needs to be encouraged to release. So if I give it... Ow! Ow! Yep, yeah, that's opening up. Yep, yeah, that is definitely opening up. There we go. And that's what we want. So now we've got our old disc off. We've got our bearing, the inner bit of it still intact. To give this a bit of a clean up, I think that certainly needs uh, some TLC just all around here. So I'll give that a good clean, put some more um, tissue down there so that we don't get any dirt in it, and uh, we're away. Okay, so it's time to uh, get this disc attached, and uh, it's very handy. They tell you which side uh, you should be fitting. So being so I'm doing the left side of the car, I think I'm going to do that one. Not that one. Okay, so let's give this a whirl. I've um, got completely squeaky clean new gloves on before I actually handle these. Do not want to contaminate these discs at all with oil or anything like that. So let's give this a whirl. So I've got the hub back on the pallet and the studs are kind of there so that it's nicely secure and we'll see whether this disc will go on nicely. Here we go, get the holes lined up, oh <laughs> very nice, okay so what we have to do then Let's just drop these in. Now I am deliberately not putting any um, copper grease or anything like that in here. Uh, it's obviously for safety reasons. I do not want these coming undone easily at all. Well, good old Haynes, 34 pound foot of torque. So here we go. Oh, yep, yeah. that'll do. Now just to get it off the bolt, that's it. Nice one. At least when you're using a torque wrench, you know that you're safe, that it's at the right 
perfect. Right, just double check these. Nice. Fab. Sit. Wonderful. So, there we have it. We have our new disc ready to go. And apparently, because that's the way that you're going to be looking at it, is uh, when the Rossini sign has worn down, that's when you need to change the disc. Apparently, that's what they say. Right, now, to uh, get this back on the hub and repack with grease. Okay, so we've uh, got to the stage now where it's time to put things back together again. So I've uh, cleaned up the spindle bits. I've got all the old grease out of the hub, uh, cleaned up the bearings here. I've put a little bit of uh, new um, grease inside here. So I'm just going to make this up and it says to do it dry. So I guess the reason for that is, is that as soon as you push this onto here, it's going to uh, push all the grease out. So we'll put this on. There we go. And then pack with grease. I think this is the correct way to do it. Lots of that lovely, lovely stuff in there. Too much in. Right. Pretty good. Pop the D ring on. Right. Only go on one way because it's got a, a flat edge to it just there. Just got to find out where the flat edge marries up with this. Here we go. So now it's time to put on the uh, nut here and pin. What I'm going to do before I tighten this up, I'm just going to mark a hole just there so I can see where the pin should go through. And uh, on the instructions, it says five pound foot of torque and then turn the nut back until we can pop the pin through. So let's just do it up finger tight. Okay, now also, I'm just revolving it a bit so that the bearings seat in. It's fine, that feels okay. Now that I can see the hole just here, I'm going to get my trusty, uh, let's just pop it this way around, I'm going to get my trusty torque wrench. I'm just going to get all the oil off my gloves first before I handle that. Now then, this torque wrench actually only goes down to 10 pound foot of torque, but I've got the indicator right down approximately right right at the bottom so it's below where five pound foot of torque will be so here we go let's give it a try there we go so that's that now what I'm gonna do is take you around this side so that you can see what we're doing just here Is the hole. 
going to be somewhere just there. So we're now going to take our pen and I know it's not there so we're going to take our pin here and we're going to oops, loosen this off until we are able to have our pin dropping in. There we go. Now that isn't finger tight like it was before. Perfect. Right. Right. Now then, just going to make sure. Now that feels good. No play in it at all. Right, we'll split the pin. And I think I'm a happy bunny. There we go. Split pin is split. We're sorted. Right. Now we want to put a load of grease. Pack this. that's nicely full of grease. A bit more for good measure, eh? Right, pop this on. Oh, mallet. Right, let's just uh, tap that on. There we go. Right. Now, we're ready to put the new calipers on. So first of all, we've got to assemble them. Ha ha!